Hi everyone, you're with Lucy from Art Shed Angel and I am so happy to be presenting day 14 of the Advent Hop on live art journaling and self-development. There is a great array of beautiful YouTubers who are part of this hop. Now if you want to have a look at what we're doing, please join Live Art Journaling and Self-Development, which is our Facebook group and the link is below and please also subscribe to my page because there's a good chance you can win a prize. So the first thing I'm going to do is, I'm do I've done this quite sped up, but what I'm doing is I'm just gluing down some music paper and some beautiful um, tissue paper that I have just to cover my background and give some sort of interest in the background. Now I use matte medium and the reason I use matte medium is it doesn't remain sticky and because it's matte I can also use lots of different things over the top and I like to be able to do lots of things after I've um, finished with pencils and coloured pencils and that. And matte medium doesn't retain that stickiness, as, which is I really, really like. So the next thing I'm doing is I'm gessoing the background and I'm putting the gesso over the top and then getting my stencil. This is one of my stencils from my range and I am just removing some of the gesso. And now I'm actually painting in a little bit of a face shape. So... I've done this and I've, I'm drying it off and I've just used gesso for this because I want the face to be quite light. So the first thing I do is draw an oval and divide it up. I have some face um, videos that you may like to watch but you can see I do the halfway mark and I'm doing quite large eyes on this girl. So I want to do a little bit of a Christmassy themed girl today and so I'm just doing really large eyes and a small nose and kind of a really cute little mouth. So uh, like I said, there's other videos that I have on actual face drawing that you can go back and look at any time. Okay, so I'm just using a pencil for this at the moment and deciding on where I want things to be, where I want elements to be. And I'm going to have her wearing a kind of Christmassy outfit with a big white collar. So that's why I like the um, different, the texture underneath her face. And now I'm going to do her hand. And one of my signature little things is a little woolly wagtail bird that I like to put on a lot of my pictures. So she's going to have a little woolly wagtail bird as well. Now I'm just painting out the background with a dry brush. So I've just got a light blue that I've mixed up and I'm just dry brushing the background. I do not want to cover all that beautiful texture. So I'm just really, really putting some colour over the top just to also define her a little bit. And that way I sort of get a gist of where she is. I always like to do a background when I'm doing faces because it also helps you define how dark the face needs to be. And I'm just using a golden colour here. This is actually raw sienna and um, I'm using that for her hair because she's going to kind of had a, have a brownie, goldy coloured hair. And you can see here I've added some white to that as well just to lighten it up a little bit. Now I'm going to mix some colour to make her face and I use white, a magenta and a yellow and I do it, I just take the tiniest bit of each colour, leaving a little bit of white at the top so I can add white and take white away and you can see there I'm, I'm coming up with a nice skin colour. You just touch your brush into the paint and again here I'm not trying to cover everything so I'm just going over the top and still leaving some of that texture behind. Don't forget to do a hand. And I'm adding a little bit more pink to that and I'm doing her cheeks in the pink. And just using the, the same pink to do her lips, which I will add some more to as I go along. This is all a layering exercise. So I start putting basic colours down and then I layer as I go. So I'm mixing a green here and I'm just doing a, um, a, a little bit of green in her eyes. I haven't done the black yet for the inside of her eyes. And then I'm using a, a, like a purple 
for some of the shadow areas. Now this seems a little bit dark when you first start off, but it does seem to work once all your darker colours come on. So I'm doing sort of above her eyes and that purple colour, giving her face some shape. And I'm going to go over this with a Stabilo All pencil. So once I do that, those areas won't seem nearly as dark as they do right now. And the thing is, you can always add a little bit of white. And that's what I've done here. I've gone, oh, that's a little bit too dark. So let's add a little bit of white. That's the beauty of acrylics. Um, they, do, they are actually very forgiving if you want to cover something you haven't done. And because I want her nose to be forward, I've put that white down the centre. And those little spots, kind of highlights on her cheeks. Now I'm doing the black in her eyes and suddenly she starts to look a little bit more real. And also some highlights on her lips. And I've just brought you in a little bit so you can see that. So it's all a matter of layering. And I, although I'm using a brush here, I'm actually going to dry her off now and I'm going to come in with my Stabilo All pencil and do a lot of my detail. Here I'm actually putting some lighter green in her eyes as well, just before I go over with the pencils. Because we really want to have her eyes very shaped, we need to put like highlights and um, brighter areas. So this is a great pencil. It's an oil-based pencil. You can pretty much write on anything with it. And it also is water-soluble, which is fantastic. So I'm just putting a little bit of detail in. And you can see how she starts to come alive. Now, I put a little bit too much water on my brush. So I usually have a tissue next to me so I can take a little bit of water off the brush. So I'm just drying her off a little bit so that I can add a bit more. Take a little away if I need to. And I always like to have extra highlights in the eyes. So you can see there I, I add that because that makes her really lively. Now I'm using the, the pencil again to do framing of her face. I do really love this pencil. So it's um, definitely been something in my kit. And you can see here, as soon as I wet it or activate it with the water, it just gives you a painted look. It's fantastic. So I really enjoy using it. And that's just water over the top of the pencil. I, I've been a lover of charcoal pencils, but I think I like this pencil even a little bit more than the charcoal pencils. And here I'm adding a bit of burnt sienna as well to her hair because I want, I felt like her face was too light around it. I've added the burnt sienna into sort of like a bit of a shadow area around. It's all really important also to keep drying between layers so that you end up not mushing layers together or getting dirty colours in your layers. I'm just putting some eyelashes on her. giving her a shape to her chin. And here's when I start to do some highlights in her hair. So it's always a balance between going light and dark and sometimes bringing that light back in again. And here I'm just doing the light. I think her eyelids looked a little bit too dark, so I've just added a little bit of light colour to her eyelids. And here I'm using the Stabilo to do that little woolly wagtail. Here's a little Aussie bird that is um, like a really... Um, tough little bird and he has the most beautiful whistle and he's always been like my totem animal and I have him in a lot of my artwork. So here again I'm just doing the hair and defining where the hand is. You can really play with colours when you're doing things like hair so 
And I, here, I, you can't actually see all of it, but I'm adding um, a hot pink. It's almost a ready pink so that she's going to be wearing like a Christmassy outfit. And I want it to be a snowy sort of background. And here I'm just using some white to add what I want to look like, a little bit like fur around her neck. So white, a white fur collar. And also around that little cuff of her outfit. And because the Willy Wagtail is black and white, let's put little eyes on him. It's all these little finishing touches that we start to do. I've added a little bit more yellow to her eyes just to make them a little bit more lively. And again, drying it off to make sure that I can keep working. So if you can put it aside and let it dry, but in this case I've, I've dried it off. And I'm adding those little bit more of the um, Stabilo All pencil, a little bit of shaded areas around her neck so that it kind of has a bit of depth to it. Now I've got some music paper and because he's, I feel like he's singing and I often hear the Willy Wagtails sing near me and so I'm doing a little bit of music here that I'm going to stick in the background. And it just sort of adds to, sort of makes you think of him singing. If only we could actually paint this fast. <laughs> And here I've got a little bit of pink in my, on my brush, but I've just used it in the rest of the background. And now just, just again finishing touches, just with my white um, Signo. It wasn't quite dry enough for my Signo at, um, quite yet, so I just put a little bit of um, detail into it. This is where I do a lot of playing. This can be sometimes take as long as a picture to do that those finishing touches. And I will go back when it's completely dry and also do some more finishing touches to it. Now I'm also going to add some words. So I have some um, die cut and emboss words. And I love the word amazing. These are really great from Couture Creations. And... You can use them in art journaling, you can use them in card making, and I've got amazing and beautiful and hugs, and I thought that really, really suited this picture. I'll have a link below to some of these um, different products as well. So I've pretty much done what I want there, but here I'm just thinking, mm, I like to add things. This is art journaling. Let's add some more. So I've done some, they look a little bit like snowflakes and I've done them in a slightly darker teal colour over the background just to give the background some depth. And I'm, you know, I'm going back, I'm checking where I need to have that little bit of extra colour. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use white paint and I'm going to stamp with white paint onto my page. So I've got some white paint and I'll just spread it. And this is one of my own stamps that I um, have in my stamp range. And I'm just doing that in the background to make it a little bit wintry, a little bit snowflakey. There's two different designs. And this just, I feel, finishes it off. It makes it kind of sparkly in the background. And finishes off the page. So thank you everyone for joining me uh, in doing this page on day 14 of the Advent um, Hop and make sure you go to Live Art Journaling and Self-Development and have a look at um, our group. Join our group and that way you can get to see all the Advent Hop people. Thank you so much for being with us. And make sure before you go that you check out all the people in the, in the hop and also make sure that you click that subscribe button. There's three prizes that can be won and you need to have subscribed and also joined the group to get them. So thank you everybody and have a lovely day. Bye.